Breaking news, in fact, Governor Gavin Newsom issues an executive order to remove all homeless encampments in California. The directive is the most sweeping response to the Supreme Court decision that came down last month, giving local leaders greater authority to remove homeless camps. California has the highest number of unhoused people, by the way. Newsom will mandate that state agencies not just move campers, but work with local governments to provide services something the state has pumped billions of dollars into, as you may know. The order guides state agencies on how to go about removing encampments. So let's see how this plays out. So this, this is, is not, is this, this is not a mandate. It essentially saying all cities and towns, you have to clear out your encampments, right? This is empowering them to make those decisions. Right, and then you're like, well, why was this not done before? So yeah. basically, Great question. I said great question. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am French Shai Pierce, and welcome to my channel. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. July 25th of 2024. I have 7.20 in the p.m. So, yeah, why wasn't it done earlier? The proposal was uh, issued, uh, what, almost about a month ago. And now we got Mr. Galvin Newsom, possible... Uh, presidential hopeful, or maybe the VP, maybe the VP, hint, hint, maybe the VP. Let's go back and listen to this. Right? Sometimes there are hints and things. Here we go. Let's do it again. He's on how to go about removing encampments. So let's see how this plays out. So this is not, is this, this is not a mandate. It essentially saying all cities and towns, you have to clear out your encampments, right? This is empowering them to make those decisions. Right. And then you're like, well, why was this not done before? So and why wasn't this done before? <laughs> hey, I think they know, but they're anchors. You know, they can't say it, but I can say it because I'm an independent YouTube content creator. Aren't they over there in Newsom's town? In LA? Yeah. Isn't, um, what's her name? What's she running for president? What's her name? I will carry the torch for Joe Biden. Carmela Harris. Ain't she from them neck of the woods? Hmm. I thought I saw a putty cat. Then again, I think I smell a rat. Man, isn't this something? Wasn't it uh, L.A. that got this stuff together when China, the Prime Minister of China, the leader, the President of China came back and they cleaned up everything? Remember that? Remember I did a video on that? Man, the leader of China came to, what, was it San Francisco? And man, you couldn't even tell the place. Woo! If that's what it takes, he can come to every city, right? People, something wrong with this picture. Yeah. So here we go. We got a possible presidential hopeful slash VP hopeful, Governor Newsom. And you got the President of the United States, both from the neck of the woods. You think she made a phone call and said, brother, you know what? We need to clean this up because we need a little optics going on, right? Give me some optics. You know how it is. Come on now. And then I'll send you some money. Then we'll play this game and we'll show them how it's really done. Then we can get some votes. And then we can be the marquee city. We can be the marquee city. Come on, Newsom. We, we put it out there about a month ago. It's time, you see, because I'm, I'll be in the seat soon. Come on now. It's like, you help me, and you know, maybe I'll help you. You can be, if you don't be VP, then you can be at least uh, Secretary of State. How about it? How about it, Newsom? How about it? Okay. Y'all think that's how it went? Yeah, okay. Oh, the new executive order. Take a listen. I don't think there's anything more urgent and more frustrating that addresses the issue of encampments in the state of California. Over the course of the last number of years, the state has stepped up to where in the past we provided no support, no resources 
to cities and counties to clean up encampments like this. Today, we've invested now over $1 billion in encampment resolution grants. The plan from the governor is now ordering California cities and counties to adopt local policies and to use all available resources when it comes to how best to dismantle homeless encampments. It also encourages local governments to ramp up enforcement that emulates the state's models. Now, state agencies now provide 48 to 72 hours notice before clearing encampments and personal belongings will be bagged, tagged, and stored for at least 60 days. The Supreme Court's decision has left cities in a conundrum, however, weighing the need for enforcement against the rights of those who have nowhere else to go. Enforce Man, you know, it just makes me sick because I'm right here in Chicago and I'm two blocks from a, uh, 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 from an illegal place where they housing all these migrants. Over 2,300 migrants live a few blocks from me. And they're getting all this money. And we got this. We should be ashamed of ourselves. But I guess better late than never. The question is, are they going to have some mental health facilities? They're going to get them off their feet and help them go to school or get a job or get the medical attention, again, the psychiatric housing. I mean, what are you gonna do? Or are you just gonna build a big camp in the future? Is this, is this phase one of something nefarious? Here we go. Today, where Governor Gavin Newsom has issued an executive order uh, for state officials to begin dismantling thousands of homeless encampments on state properties and also encouraging local jurisdictions to do the same thing. Now, this is in response to the Supreme Court's recent decision uh, in the Grants Pass case. I asked the Supreme Court to do what it did in an amicus brief, that is to say, overturn a misguided Ninth Circuit decision and give our communities back the power to deal with homeless encampments and to have common sense limits on the public spaces where they can be. It's important to know that Governor Newsom did not join me in those efforts. He did file his own brief, but he explicitly opposed overturning this lower court decision that has handcuffed our local community's ability to deal with homelessness. But I'm glad to see that now that the decision came out as it did and the court sided with my view as opposed uh, to his, he is seeing the benefits of the decision and is Apparently so wait, 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 wait. L let me get this straight. So you proposed a certain way of doing it and he kind of like uh, Pac-Man a little bit of it and <laughs> not even getting it done. Baby, if this don't sound political, I don't know what do. Well, that's what happens when you're a Democrat and you got a Democrat running for president who's already VP. I digress. Remember Taiji P. Henderson? She uh she was on the BTE Awards, right? The BET Awards. And she was talking about, I can't play that for copyright, but she said, you better watch out. Days are coming. They got that legislation for homelessness. And she also brought up Project 2025. Yeah, she warned folks back in the day at the BET Awards. Now, Governor DeSantis, he got it going on in uh, Miami. He already making his moves. Signing HB 1365, it will help maintain and ensure that Florida streets uh, are clean and that Florida streets are safe for our residents. This legislation prohibits camping on city streets, sidewalks, and parks. Uh, it creates state enforcement tools to ensure that local governments comply with this law, and it ensures that localities utilize the resources of homeless shelters to provide individuals with the safety and services uh, that they need. And there are needs uh, that need to be met. The bill also provides alternatives for when homeless shelters have reached max capacity, but this is gonna require that their services are there to help people get back on their feet 
things like substance abuse and, and mental health, those issues need to be addressed. And this bill ensures that that will be the case. So that's why today I'm signing. This got a good ring to it, people. Have you heard about that? If you stay in Miami, if you stay in Miami, put in the comment section, let me know, you know, how it's working. Because uh, this, this sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm not saying it's perfect. I mean, I don't know enough about it. I read about it, heard about it months ago. But DeSantis, look, he 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 run a pretty good ship. He run, he run a tight ship. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Now, let's read a few things. Here goes Smiling Newsom. Man, if I could only get that VP slot. Yeah, allegedly I would go behind Carmella just like Obama allegedly went behind Biden and I would sock it to her and I could get that nomination. Go ahead, girl. You can utilize me. I'll go ahead and start this homeless project because I got an eye on the White House. And I got folks think I can do it better than you. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. You think that's how it's going to go? So his birthday is October 10th, 1967. Check this out. If you take October 10th of 2024, subtract it from today's date, when, when Rusum Tusum, Newsom, go ahead and announce his uh, homeless thing, July 25th, the difference is 222. Oh, snap! What is 222? Baby, I'm telling you, when these folks want to work a miracle, they know how to work a miracle. 222 in Gematria, it speaks. So if we can run that magic wand, see what 222 means. Got so many. It is. Look at that. You think it applies to this here? Beast of Revelation, Antichrist, Antichrist system. 222 two, two don't come up pretty good on Gematria Calculator, baby. Gonna have to watch this move. Wow, Newsom. Your birthday versus that. Man, then check this out. On 9 9 1850, that's when uh, California became part of the Union. 9 9. When you take 9 9 or 2024, Birthday coming up versus today with Newsom's passing this thing. The difference is what? 46 days. Who's in the White House? The 46th president. That coincidence? Less I say more. Next, the Supreme Court of the United States. What day did they pass this thing back in the day? June 28th, Supreme Court of the United States. City of Grants Pass, or Oregon versus Johnson on behalf of themselves and other similarly situated dealing with this homeless crisis. See that big word there? Homelessness. So let's take that date. June 28th of 2024. Subtracted from today. Big time Newsom made his announcement. The difference is three weeks and six days. Come on, man. Three, six. Three, six and six, six, six. Now you're really partying because you put it together with two, two, two. Pearson, keep going. Now, his legislation was back in the day. That's a big bolder writing we can read. The Supreme Court on Friday upheld an Oregon City ban on homeless residents sleeping outdoors. A decision likely to reverberate far beyond the West Coast as cities across this country grapple with their growing hopelessness crisis. Again, we should be ashamed of ourselves. We take it in all these illegals and making it work for them and they not homeless, but you got homeless Americans. Something don't make no sense, but I guess they do when you have the ruling by a six to three, six to three, a six to three split along with ideological illness. Wow, I'm sorry. Ideological lines. Justice Neil M. Grosich, writing a controversial supermajority, found that the ordinances enacted in Grants Pass Org did not violate the Constitution's prohibit, prohibiting, prohibiting 
on cruel and unusual punishment. Prohibition. Prohibition on cruel and unusual punishment. People, I'm telling you, it's coming fast. Is this George Orwell? Where are you going to put these people? And there it is there. This ain't right, people. This ain't right. This could be us. This ain't us. This could be us, people. These numbers don't look good. Watch it in your state. Watch it in your city. Be on your legislators. This might be the start of something. All I know is that a lot of people's on the internet saying when they cleaned up San Francisco just before the uh, Chinese uh, president came, they don't know where they put them people. Wow. That's deep. I'm French Shot Pierce. You think the video got value? Thumbs up, share it. Let me know what you think. God bless America. And God, please help these homeless folk. And we can be a beacon of hope for them as well on a daily basis. God bless.